right, we get to go first. Take a look at the opening hand. Whoa. Oh my gosh, this is not keepable. No, we got a mulligan that. This is pretty bad too. We have double hawk, only one land. Well, I'm not gonna go down another card though. That goes to the bottom. We really need a land here. If we wanna beat, oh man, this is gonna be a long, difficult road. White and black. Not a land. Pass the turn. This is gonna be tough. Another white black land for the opponent. Discards pestilence. So we're playing against that pestilence deck. Oh, this guy draws a card. Well, do we attack? I don't think so. If he doesn't play another creature, then I suppose I'll ping that thing at the end of turn. Just so I can start attacking, but I don't foresee it really mattering here. He attacks. I'll ping it. It's whatever. <coughs> He'll play another creature here, though, I imagine. Whoa, he doesn't. Okay. Well, we don't get a land, so we're going to have to discard. Really, really, really sucks. Um. Wow. Maybe a Squadron Hawk. We're pretty far away from casting Battle Screech, and we can flash it back. I guess I'll just get rid of that. Frixian Rager. And a Zealot. Well, we got our other land here. Hmm. I think I want to play a Hawk. I don't want to draw another one. Yeah, we need to go Hawk here, because if I draw another Hawk, I'm going to be in big trouble. We can only get one, but that's okay. I'm going to block pretty aggressively here. He has Pestilence, so at any point my stuff can die anyway. But I, I will block pretty aggressively. I think I want to double block on the Rager. Yeah. Double block the Rager here. Here comes a Guardian of the Guild Pact. Oh, Palace Sentinels. <coughs> huh. So we need to journey the Palace Sentinels. But I don't think I want to do that this turn. Huh. I want to block the Zealot, I think. I think maybe block it with um, Raise the Alarm. Let's pass the turn. I think I'm going to use Raise the Alarm. Block with both of them. Oh! That was a mistake. I should have played Raise the Alarm main phase. Or um, gar uh, Gather main phase. I'm so distracted by my opponent's board. I think we might want to get rid of Guardian's Pledge. I don't think that's the route we're going to be going right now. Yeah. Let's just get rid of that. That's that's not the path we're going to be taking this game. Goes to attacks. Gets in. Going to use raise the alarm. Go to blocks. We're going to block both of them. Yep. And I'm going to journey the, sent the sentinels here, I believe. Could cast the Hawk to gain the Monarch. Pretty confident he has removal spells, though. Interesting. Another Sentinel. And, of course, Skyfisher. Huh. 
Huh. Well. I guess now we have to journey the Skyfisher, play a Hawk next turn, and try to gain Monarch. It's really slow. But I think it's something... I think that's pretty much our plan right now. So next turn we got to try and play Hawk. Oh my gosh, he's got so many cards in his hands. So many lands too. Ah, oh, jeez. We are not going to be able to pull this one out, I don't think. We can beat the matchup. It's just we we if this isn't we need more lands. Quake sands. Huh. Interesting. Well, hmm. I guess I can play a hawk and the javelin ears. Alright. He's gonna hold back the Skyfisher. Because if he attacks, then I can gain Monarch. There's the Pestilence. So he's just gonna ping for one here. Yep. Do I use Rally? The Pe Rally, uh, Remosian Rally. I don't think so. Because then he can just ping again. And his creatures won't be affected by it. So, there you go. Um, yeah. Seems like that's gonna be it. Yeah, we can't get this one, guys. Let's go ahead and scoop it up here. Go to sideboarding. We can win, we just have to be faster. And this deck can definitely be fast. Pestilence is pretty destructive. <clears throat> I think we need the Scorn here. We don't want Triplicate Spirits. I don't, I don't think this is a matchup for Triplicate Spirits because he's gonna be killing all of our creatures with the Pestilence and the removal spells and such, so we ain't gonna really have enough to, to use that. Um, hmm. Veteran armor, I think's okay. Maybe another Scorn. I think I want to run it back like that. There is an argument for City and Alkalite. But I don't think that's the pass for this matchup. We're going to be wanting to spend our mana casting creatures and getting in, getting in for a lot of damage. We get to go first. This hand... Hmm. This hand's not terrible. It's not great. Uh, we're going to keep it. I don't like keeping it, but hopefully we don't draw any land for a couple of turns. Opponent goes down to six. Keeps his six. We'll play the Javelin Ears. Pass the turn. This hand is not very exciting. I sense a turn one duress here. I would not be surprised. Oh, no turn one duress. All right, we have raise the alarm. I think I'm going to use that end of turn. I am going to attack. Alright, so we're going to use a Razor Alarm end of turn. And uh, go from there. We're going to be one mana short on casting the Battle Screech next turn, so we'll have to wait for that. There's the Zealot, so I'll probably be pinging that with my Javelin Ears. Yep, let's just ping this guy, get him out of here. 
attack in with the warriors. Soldiers, sorry. Alright, so next turn we can play the Battle Screech, so that's something. Ooh, we got two Battle Screech. Hmm. Let's go ahead and use it now. Before combat, because I don't want I don't want to attack with two, leave one up to re flashback Battle Screech and him kill that one. So let's go like this. We'll tap the two with Summoning Sickness. And I guess the Javelin Ears here. Alright, now let's attack. He's probably he's got um, Pestilence or Shrivel, Echoing Decay. He's got something to protect himself, I feel. He gets to draw a card off the Zealot. Do I journey to nowhere, that Zealot? That doesn't seem right. I don't think so. What was that? Dead weight? Yep. Dead weight. Ooh, we got a we got a scorn here. So that's good against the pestilence. We like seeing that. Um Do I want to go all in with the battle screech? I think I do. I think the only way we're really going to win here is if we uh go all the way tap the ones with hate or the ones with summoning sickness and I guess one on the ground here and let's get go in pass the turn it's trading up there yeah all right come on nothing crazy okay the guy that gains him life yeah he's gonna gain two and he's gonna gain two more when it leaves. I think I may journey this one. What is this? Another dead weight. Just drew a second journey? Yeah, we're just gonna journey this. Get it out of here. I know it goes away in a couple of turns, but I just I want to uh bash in with all I got here. Alright. He's down to five. Come on. Nothing crazy. Oh, we got there. Woo, okay. I feel like that was pretty close. I feel like my opponent had something soon. So I think I'm okay with my current setup, my board state. I think we can keep rolling with this. I would like the Luma Thread Field to have favorable blockings, but... I don't think it's really worth it. I think what we have is going to be pretty good. Opponent gets to go first this time. Oh my gosh, no. I'm not keeping this. Five lands. I'm not going to do it. We'll keep this, though. We really need a land. Yes, to the top. Opponent goes down to six. Uh, let's see, he puts a card on the bottom. He gains two life off the crossroads. Goes back over to us. Let's play a Javelin Ears. He may play the Zealot, in which case I will ping it. One white mana. Oh, three of an inspector, okay. One, two. That's pretty good against me. Shuts down my ground attacks. Ooh, not anymore. So I could play the armor. Uh, I probably should play Hawk. I don't want to draw another Hawk. Yeah, let's play the Hawk. I've been... I hate drawing Hawks when I have uh, them in my hand. So we can get all three. Okay. And I'm not going to attack here because he'll just block and kill it. I understand if I would have played the veteran armor, I would have been able to attack with a, with the javelin ears, but then he just would have blocked, and I wouldn't have gotten anywhere. So, I think playing the hawk there is is a pretty good. Another Thraben Inspector. We drew a planes. Hmm.
I think I want to play Suture Priest. Yep, I think I want to play that. Let's get in with the Hawk and pass the turn. Here's the crossroads again. Goes to combat. I think I may block and kill this. Hmm. I can block with the javelin ears and then ping it to get it out of here. It's really tempting. I do have Guardian's Pledge though. But my ground attackers aren't really going to be attacking with these Draven Inspectors here. I think I am going to take this moment to, to do this. I think I'm fine with that. There's a Sky Fisher. Auto yield to the Suture Priest. He's going to bounce the Thraven Inspector. Probably play it. Yep. Alright, back over to us. Quicksand is a pretty good draw. It turns on our, our um, four land here. So I think... Oh, that darn Sky Fisher. Even with veteran armor on the board, I can't get past it. I wonder if I should attack and use Guardian's Pledge. Wipe his board out. I think I want to do that. Hmm. I could play two Hawks and then use Guardian's Pledge next turn. But then what if he does like Shrivel or something? Then I'm in big trouble, I think. I could play Veteran Armor and Squadron Hawk. Yeah, that seems fine. Alright, let's try this. Yeah, Veteran Armor, Hawk, and then next turn I'll use Guardian's Pledge. Try to get a little bit more value off of it. Always yield to this priest. Play the hawk. Don't use the ability, right? One, two, wait, do I? Uh, no, I have all four. Okay, so no. Can't attack through the sky fisher, so we'll just pass the turn. And hope this is fine. I probably should have went for the... Oh, oh that sucks. <laughs> that really sucks. I mean, luckily I still have another one, but... Oh, jeez, does he have another discard spell? Journey. Okay. Maybe I should have just went for the attack. Oh, man. He's got two cards in hand. Clue. Cracks his clue. Three cards in hand. Goes to combat. Tax in with that. Um, okay. Alright, well, I think I want to attack here. Yep, we're going to attack. He knows I have the Guardian's Pledge, so I'm not sure if he's going to block or not. He does block. Well, I will use the Guardian's Pledge. I don't want to lose my Suture Priest, and he knows I have it, so. And we'll play a Hawk here. Alright. Don't use the ability. Okay, well, we're down to one card. He's got four. I um, am not locking my odds here. He's going to go for the Suture Priest, I imagine. I feel like it's probably the Suture Priest. Yep, okay. Three cards in hand with a clue. There's a Zealot. So we're still attacking in the air. Man, I wish I had my Suture Priest. Cracks his clue. Goes up, back up to three cards. He may attack in with the Thraben Inspector. I'm not going to block. 
I may use my quicksand on that inspector. Alright, let's attack here. Um. Yeah, let's cast Squadron Hawk. Don't use the ability. I may quicksand him, that Draven Inspector, depending on what he does here. He's got four cards in his hand. I'm really thinking a Shrivel is coming. Oh, Duress. Okay. I'm going to cast Raise the Alarm in response to that. I don't want to lose it. There's a crossroads. Goes up to 13. Doesn't attack. Rally the peasants. That's actually really good for me. Protects me against shrivel. Alright, let's go to combat here. Do I attack in with my soldiers? Probably not. No, I'm not going to attack in with those. I will if it means lethal. Which next turn, I have him... I, I can kill him next turn, but it really depends on what he plays here. Five mana. Oh, this guy. Okay, what's he voting for? What is he voting for? Um... He voted for a Core Skyfisher, so I have to as well, or he'll get two cards. So he gets Core Skyfisher back. Yeah. So he's got two flyers. Gets the crossroads. So he goes to 11. Doesn't attack. Alright, so if I attack all out, he can block four. I'll have two get through and only be able to deal four damage. So that can't be the correct play. Hmm. Maybe it is. Maybe he just won't block. Maybe he won't block with everything. Hmm. Hmm. If I attack with everything, four, five, six attackers, he can block everything. I'd kill his Thraben Inspector and his Zealot. He would kill two of my Eagles. And his two Flyers would stay. How much would I would take him down to seven? I think I need to hold on to their Mosin Rally for defensive purposes until I can actually kill him. Play the Javelin Ears here. Darn it. He's got me he's got me uh held hold, holding back. Duress. Ay ay ay. Really? Dag on it. So I gotta use my rally here. So do I wanna tap a creature or cast four? I think I wanna keep I, I wanna utilize the quicksand if I can. So we're gonna cast Hermosian Rally by tapping a creature. Let's tap the javelin ears. Cause I'm gonna wanna tap those for the the um kill or the, the pinging. So that's one of the reasons why I was thinking about using the Remosian Rally is because of Duress, but because because this really sucks that I don't get to use it uh, otherwise. Really unfortunate. He bogs my graveyard. I'm not too concerned about that. Planes is not what I want to see. We'll go ahead and pass the turn here. I may kill that Zealot. Hmm. Frixian Rager. <clears throat> Darn it. Thraben Inspector. Craxus Clue. Goes 
to combat. Doesn't attack. All right. Do I want to ping the... No, I think I'm going to hold back my javelin ears here. Gather the townsfolk. Since he has duress, I think I'm going to play this. I don't want to lose out on it. Uh, and we're going to pass the turn here. We're essentially looking for... Um, Guardian's Pledge, mostly. He gains a life. Plays the Rift Watcher. I need to journey to nowhere. I need to get rid of his flyers. He attacks in with the Core Sky Fisher. Hmm. I could block with two eagles. I could block with three eagles. Trade two of my eagles for one of his creature, but I think my flyers is what's going to win me this game. Let's let that go through, actually. Do I now ping his zealot? I don't think so. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Because my, my win is going to be an Alpha Strike with like a Guardian's Pledge. So, I think that's the route I want to take. This is really sucky, actually. If I could just get a Guardian's Pledge, I'd be in pretty good shape. But I have two in the Exile pile, so it's pretty unlikely I draw one. Wonder what our opponent drew. Probably pestilence. If he attacks with everything, he probably has pestilence. If he attacks with everything, I'm going to block extremely aggressively. Because that probably means he has pestilence and I'm going to lose everything anyway. <clears throat> but he doesn't attack. Crypt rats. Same thing. It's the same thing as pestilence. So we knew that was coming. Uh, it's funny that I predicted his draw. Oh, jeez. That really sucks. That sucks a lot. Why X2? I don't understand. I feel like X1 is, should have been the choice. But that pretty much does it in, you guys. Um, yeah. Not much we can do with coming back from that. Play the Suture Priest that we just got. And Planes, I suppose. But, uh, we were really close. We were extremely close. But I don't think it's in the cards here. I think losing game one, um, losing to, um, not drawing any lands... I feel like that's what did me in. Not, I'm not saying that I would have won, but I feel like I would have been a little more competitive. So, there it is. Alright, well guys, we didn't win this one, but this deck wins a lot. Um, but we didn't manage to take it against this guy. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. See ya.